I don't know. Also, let's uh, let's do more of these. Yeah. Uh, I guess buy some more books and try to get a translate -y thing. There's still two languages I don't know. Uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'll just destroy it. Uh, whatever. It's a regular edge. Uh, who's got moth? Uh, Porter, you have moth, right? Yeah. Alright, Porter. Destroy. What did I get? Uh, something, ah, something better. Eh. No, it's taking my health. Uh, I guess that's fine. That's the thing I have the most of and I use the least of, so. Could be worse. What do I get? <sighs> Sanskrit. Alright. Don't need that. This only money I can't I can't use these. Okay. You never know till you try. Wrote the thing. And now let's put somebody in the jail. Minion has returned, stumbling, mumbling, clumsily bandaged. They were caught in the coils of their own plan. <sighs> oh, Porter. Can I have somebody else with Moth? Yeah. He's a bet. Try. Is this Latin? Man. Oh, vitality, not bad. Curse has taken hold, now the life pulse slows. With enough heart influence, it will be possible to turn aside the curse. Oh. Oh, but I don't have those. I'm not gonna have enough time to get them. Oh well. And... Kitling Ripe and the Moldy Warp's Grave and other stories. A lusciously illustrated tome of loosely connected children's stories collected by one N.K. Field. Few of them are remotely suitable for children. Okay, well, I mean, might as well study it. The protagonist, a speechless cat thing called Kitling Ripe, performs a series of elaborate rites to rescue members of her extended family, culminating in the resurrection of her other grandmother, Moldy Warp. Hey, maybe I'll get a right. That would be neat. Oh, you failed too? Jeez. All right, Porter. You best not fail me again. Each breath we take in this life is weaker than the last until we come to the final breath of all. The process is so slow as to be imperceptible until one is touched by the creeping breath curse. Another decrepitude. Um, two decrepitudes. Wrapped in the king. Detailed accounts 
Detailed accounts nigh James Colin Murphy of secret bacchanals and ecstatic dances observed in necropolises and graveyards in southern Europe, in Egypt, and in Anatolia. The author is a self-confessed ghoul, an eater of buried flesh. He claims to have witnessed the dances while at his feasting. Okay. Keep getting books. When the snake witch killed the stag, Kitling snatched one of its eyes. When the dry witch killed the sow, Kitling stole a cup of its blood. Then she took them to the place where Moldywarp lay buried, and she shook out her hair, and she began to dance. Okay. It's fine, I guess. I will read this. The dances draw from the traditions of the mysteries of the cults of Isis oh, and of Cybele, but includes both symbolic and literal flayings, and the human heart is always central in the rites. The author punctuates his accounts with queasily sensuous descriptions of his own interrupted feasts. Fun. Viennese Kundura, Kun Conundra. Nico Van Driel describes odd events in Vienna, the disappearance of children, epidemics of parasite activity, animal mutilations, nightmares of worms, the activities of a charitable organization, the new legions uh, that funds the burial of the poor. She proposes peculiar connections between these activities. Got him. Uh, oh, uh, might as well do this. Right? I didn't already write that, did I? Oh, I did. So I, I can, like, pre-do a bunch of them if I wanted to, but I do not. Actually, I think I might as well do this now. It's going to be a while before I can talk to Count Jannings again, because I want to destroy that evidence. Yeah. Okay, let's try again. Destroy the evidence. Do not fail me this time. Morlins is closing. I'm moving on, Miss Morland informs you. My stock is largely exhausted and the Suppression Bureau are taking an interest, so it's goodbye. This last book is nonsense, but I've tucked some interesting papers into the back as a thanks for your custom. Oh no. Got a Mantis glimpse, that's, that's fine. And then I got another something something deep mystery something. Aww. Well, that's sad. Oh. Oh. We could move our base of operations here if we so choose. Yeah, I mean, might as well, right? Possibilities. This allows people with old-style HQs to gain access to the new HQs, even if they've already played the relevant expeditions. Eh? I don't know what that means. Head oh, headquarters mechanics have changed. Explore this card to gain access to your original HQ and several new potential locations. In future, you'll access these locations through expeditions, but we wanted to provide backwards compatibility, and you might already have done those expeditions. Oh. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's do that then. You might end up with duplicates if you haven't played the expeditions yet. Lucky you. Unattended church. The minister disappeared one night quite abruptly with his inner circle and the church's chiefest, chiefest treasures. He is widely assumed to have gone to a better place, possibly a sunny place, beside a shining sea. 
We could recruit his leaderless flock and make this our base of operations. We could. Got the empty hospital. Phantoms, the neighbors say, still walk the echoing halls here. If we take possession, of course, they will leave or we'll turn them to our use. Okay. Empty Mithraeum. This was a place of worship, worship once. We could make it so again. Okay. Or just the temporary headquarters. Or an abandoned warehouse. A rotting shell beside a rotting river. Who would follow us here? Um, I mean, I think a, a church would be cool. Or we could go to Moreland's shop. This will permanently relocate your headquarters. No return is possible. It can reduce notoriety. Okay. Yeah, let's go to Moreland's shop. I like books. I got a bunch of books. When we move, the suppression bureau may waste time investigating our old location. See ya, notoriety. Okay. I guess I'll put these up here so I don't forget about them. These greater feasts, a black pig is always crowned as king before it's slaying. Ah, yes, I've I've read this before. Okay, I can get more uh, more heart lore that way, but I don't really care about heart lore. So, when the individual K attends the meetings, black dogs are sacrificed and quartered. When the individual M is in attendance, black mares are found with their throats slashed. I propose that these sacrifices are not necessary, but that our legion, 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 I don't know. Our legion friends may consider them fitting. Here with diagrams of the mutilations. Oh, that's fun. No new leads. Huh? Did you do it? You did it. Yay. Uh, now I can turn this in for money. And I think, so, yeah, you're still injured, so let's fix you up there. No address is really ever permanent. Like our bodies, we leave them all in the end. But for now, this is home. Rooms behind a bookshop. The lesser elements of Miss Moreland's stock yet remain. Over time, strangers drift in with books to sell, and sometimes we indulge them. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Place funds in here to raise heart influence. What? We will warm the spaces behind the shop with firelight, enliven them with the kettle's whistle and the gramophone's hum. Not all our celebrations require the shedding of blood. Okay, sure, let's do that. Might as well. Medusa's riddle, then, I choose to render as what is not seen. There is another riddle, one I have heard rendered as what may be lost. I will delineate some historic attempts to answer it. These are in themselves, in some sense, sacrifices. Okay. Some more moth lore there. It's fine, I guess. Um, might as well... Keep going with this. 
And I got some restlessness, which is going to turn into dread, which isn't going to be great. Uh, maybe I can rustle up some contentment over here. Oh, wait, I have content. I have contentment. And it's going to go away. <sighs> oh, it's going to go away before it turns into dread anyway, so it doesn't matter. Wound is healed. What'd you get? Oh, some winter. Okay. Bookshops give solace to the anxious, the ignorant, and the troubled in spirit. Even after Moreland brought her curious wares here, this solace lingers. Tonight, the hour called Thunderskin stepped softly. Alright, so I can make these. Which I can study with some contentment, which just disappeared. Or vitality. I might as well, right? I'm a brim with vitality, and this is a brisk season. If I devote some time to exercise, I'll benefit. Yeah, let's do heart. I'm gonna interleave the rhythms unceasing. Sure, whatever. Dun, dun, dun. Yay, pulsing airs. Neat. Okay. Uh, got some damning evidence, that's good. So I'll go ahead and put him in jail for now. Oh, I can do uh, I can do another dream. Oh no, I can't at the moment. Oh no. Well, I mean that can get rid of my dread. Also, oh no, it already got sucked up. Oh well. Oh, well, let's do this. Need more of that board lore. Dread and fascination. Ah, uh, but I can't combine them because the stupid... Because I did the thing. Dang it. Should have been paying more attention. <sighs> That's gonna be my second dread. Give me something to do, Jannings. What do you want? Very substantial edge? I got you. I'll hook you up with that. Uh, let's get some contentment going on. Yeah. We got. Well, let's keep going to the War Museum. No, Vagabond's map. I just no. <laughs> uh. Dang it. Well, at least I can just cancel it. Call an additional scrap of knowledge. That would be nice. Oh, it's just erudition. Whatever. And, uh, need contentment, please.
Oh, fleeting reminiscence gets rid of that? Okay. Nice. Got it. And of course the fascination, but that's fine. Even more vitality. One, two, three, four. I got five of them now. <laughs> Uh, oh, I should do this. I need level, level six. Yeah. Two reasons. These are all the reasons why I'm writing this. Uh, and you can go ahead and fix this. Cause I got them silver guys. Endless stream of troublemakers. I'll never learn. And I'm suspended. Oh well. It's fine. I'll just get unsuspended. Stop suspending me. I'm your best detective. Do you know how many people I have put in jail? Because I don't. I would like to know how many people I put in jail. So go dream again with it, which I will do. Got that money. And uh, I might as well go to the club and get another contentment. So I do have one, one dread left floating in there. Nice. Stated. That's good. Uh, is there any other work things I can do right now? I could try doing a right again, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might as well just, uh, just do my detective thing. Got no evidence on me. Where did all your other evidence go? I don't know. Don't ask me about it. Uh, yeah, obviously I'm going through this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fix it again, right? I just can't stop getting vitality. Some mystique, what of it? The Mausoleum of Wolves. This chilly monument was built long before Rome fell. Stone wolves watched the door. A chamber within was carved from rock to await fragments of the sun at its prophesied funeral procession. That procession never came, but still, the dead are drawn here. I am also drawn there because I want to get the stuff. And I will. <laughs> 